What's up, Facebook? It's time to put this distributor back in this car and make it run. So, uh, this is pretty uneventful, but I thought maybe I would take a minute to revisit this and show you guys how to stab a distributor in a 5 liter. It's been forever since uh, a lot of people have done one, so even though it's old news, it might be a good refresher course. So, I already put the distributor in, and as you're putting the distributor down in, it's going to rotate to the right as the teeth of the gear mesh with the teeth of the cam. Make sure you put a little Vaseline or break-in lube or something like that on the gear of the distributor so that it uh, you know, doesn't, doesn't run dry on oil when you first crank it up, and that stuff will disappear quick once the motor runs. So here's the, uh, here's the visual reference. You've got the two lower intake bolts in the front. You can see them right there. And if you got this thing pointed right, the rotor button points just to the left of the right intake bolt. So there's your right intake bolt. The rotor's about a half of an inch to the left in its alignment of that. And uh, that's about the perfect spot. But that's the easy part. The hard part is how do we deal with the timing uh, specifically, not just where the rotor starts. Um, I guess I should mention too that the motor has to be at top dead center on cylinder number one compression. I don't know if I can get you a shot of this because there's a bunch of supercharger stuff in the way. Let me see if I can find that. I've marked the... I don't know if I can see it from here. I've marked the, the uh, crankshaft with a gold mark. Man, it's really buried. It's got to be just right to see it. But the, the top of the timing tab has a flat mark on it, or a flat surface on it. And the zero, or the 10 degree before top dead center mark. Oh man, there it is. I don't know if it'll focus, but the 10 degree before top dead center mark has to be just barely above the flat line on the top of the timing tab. There it is. Sorry, guys, the autofocus on this camera sucks, but that's about as good as I can show you. So what I do is I, I scuff the balancer up with a, a toothbrush, like a steel toothbrush, and then I paint the balancer with a black Sharpie, and then I let that dry, and I go back in, and I paint the 0, 10, and 20 degree marks, uh, putting a gold line on the 10 degree mark. And I know this is horrible camera work, but that's as good as I can show you right there. It just lines up at the top of the timing tab. So the motor is mechanically at 10 degrees before top dead center. So that's not fun to do on a supercharged car. I actually had to pull the shroud and fan and everything to get there because the pulley on these blower cars is so much deeper. But uh, once the distributor's stabbed in, here's the tricky part. This is the part that's kind of uh, useful to know. Inside the distributor, you've got this shutter wheel and it's got all these uh, windows in it. You can see in the middle of the camera there that that window is uh, like a positive tooth and then to each side of it is a like an empty spot. Let me shine a little extra light on there see if you can see that better. Okay, so you see that tooth there? That is a regular tooth. There's seven of them and there's one narrow tooth that represents uh, cylinder number one top dead center or what they call signature pip I'm gonna to try to rotate around and see if I can show you that this black piece right here this is the pickup coils magnet one side of it anyway and let's see if I can get on this any better than this sorry guys it's really in a tight spot there's a tooth right 
here, that's a narrow tooth. Let's see if I can get light on that. Bam, there you go. That tooth is narrower than these teeth around it on either side that are wide. That's our guy. That's the number one tooth. We want the uh, edge of that tooth to be in the center of that magnet. So I'll rotate this distributor around. Going the wrong way. I'll rotate it around until the front edge of that tooth is in the middle. do this and see at the same time okay so there's the beginning of that tooth and the front edge of that tooth needs to be lined up to the middle or the high spot there of this pip sensor so right about there if we did all that right we'll be within maybe not even a few degrees of, of 10 degrees before top dead center once I crank the motor over. Now, this motor is supercharged and it actually requires six degrees before top dead center according to uh, the instructions for the blower. So this is gonna be a little bit unique, but most Mustangs or Fords in general are 10 degrees before top dead center. And so if we put the crank at 10 degrees before top dead center on the compression stroke, and then we put the, the leading edge of the signature pip uh, tooth into the middle of the pickup coil magnet, we have mechanically lined that up. And so when we fire this thing up, she should be really close to on time, and then we can just barely adjust the timing from there. This beats the heck out of swinging the, the distributor 90 degrees or something, trying all over the place to get the thing to run with it popping and backfiring and everything else. So I'm going uh, to button this up, and maybe I'll come back and bring you guys alive for the initial startup and see how close we got.